Hey y'all, it's Deja Vu and I'm back again, again, again with another video for y'all. And I'm just going to be going through my product, my product tour or whatever. Well, all my products in it, I put them all out on the on my desk. But I'm just going to be going through those and telling y'all about those and telling y'all what products I used when I first started going natural. And if y'all want me to do a hair journey video, just to show y'all my hair throughout out my life because i wasn't always natural i used to have a perm when i was younger if y'all want me to show y'all that then let me know in the comments down below so we just gonna get started so y'all already know i love design essentials design essentials is my go-to hair products right now and this is the leave-in conditioner this is a leave-in conditioner spray this is, has bamboo and silk. I love this stuff. It's a good leave-in to use if you need a leave-in for like your wash and goes and all that. Then I use the Curling Hansen Mousse. And if y'all want to see how I use this, go check out my Flexi Rod tutorial. This is where I use this product right here. This has avocado and almond oil in it. And I love this. It really gets your hair smooth like you need it for your like wraps, your silk press, not silk press, your wraps, your flexi wrap sets, your roller sets, all that. And y'all know I love their deep moisture balm. This stuff is really thick. You can use it on your body, your hair. I love to use it on my hair because it keeps my hair very moisturized throughout the whole entire week. Like... It just keep my hair really, really moisturized. And this one is the Coconut and Manoy. And this is the Curl Forming Custard. This one is the Honey the honey one. It's just a little thick little curling gel kind of. You know, I use this for my twist outs, my braid outs, my flat twist outs. All that it really keeps my hair curled throughout the whole entire week and my curls last a very long time when I use this and it's good to have a gel to use because when you don't use a gel it don't always your twist out don't all, your curls won't always hold that's why like when you do wash and goes and stuff they use they tell you use a light gel and stuff I would definitely recommend this for a wash and go twist out braid out all that And I use this avocado and almond curling cream. This curling cream is good for enhancing your curls. That's what it looks like. This is good for enhancing the curl pattern just to get moisture. And it does moisturize your hair pretty good. I usually mix these two. I usually mix the balm and the curling cream together when I do my twist outs and stuff. And it really keeps my hair very moisturized. Yeah. So that's all for the design essentials. Now we're going to move on to the Jane Carter. The Jane Carter um, solution products. I love Jane Carter solution. Um, I used to use the, I used to use her mousse. They mousse on my hair a lot. This is the, it's like a, another, like a, like another shea butter or whatever. But yeah, they mousse. I would, I don't even have their mousse to show y'all, but I'll put a picture on like over there or over there and I'll show y'all. But they mousse, I love their mousse. Their mousse is good for flexi rod sets and stuff too. I would definitely recommend that as well if you're looking for a mousse to do y'all flexi rod sets and stuff like that. All right, so now we're just gonna move on to what I use like when my hair is straightened. So what I use when my hair is straightened or when I straighten my hair, which I really do, I usually go to a salon to get my hair straightened, but I probably might do a hair straightening video soon. Um, you never know. You never know. But I love to use this L'Oreal Heat Protectant Spray. This is good spray. Like it really, it really helps my hair when I straighten it and when I, when I do blowouts and stuff, it helps keep, um, make sure my curl pattern comes back when I do go to wash my hair. And I use this Chi, a lot of people use this Chi um, Silk Infusion when they have their hair straightened and stuff. This stuff is pretty good. Um, it really gives it really gets the hair a nice natural shine to it and all that. I also use this from Designer, Design Essentials. 
it's a um blow dry silk silk press i would usually put this on before i blow dry my hair it's good heat protecting also and this one has a gave and a lavender and lavender in it but yeah that's nice to like that so now oh, another hairline that i love to use like that works really really good on my hair i just don't really use it no more is the main choice the main choice products are bomb like i would love like y'all if y'all need a curling gel or something i'm going to insert a picture of a curling gel because i do not have it anymore but their hair products are bomb this is their mousse and i love their mousse too sometimes i um, it can it really get your hair like like bone straight when you're doing your flexi assets and all that. But you should definitely use the main choice if you're a upcoming a upcoming um natural uh in the process of becoming natural, all that the main choice is a great product line to use. And this one is the Ceiling cream. It's just a nat it's like a just it's just a um like a moisturizer or whatever. But it's really nice. I like this too. It's very good to use with their gels. They gel they have a 24 karat gold gel. And that's one I used to use that all the time. And so I started using design essentials. I used to use the main choice all the time. That's all I would use. But the yeah, definitely go try that out. And they also have a blue one. I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'm gonna insert some pictures on this side or that side, either side. So yeah. And also another hairline that a lot of naturals love is Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture, I used to use Shea Moisture when I first went natural and I used to use As I Am. Those two um, lines are very, very good product lines. You know, the Shea Moisture has very good masks and stuff. Um. This one is all out. See, I be using that stuff up. But this one is the Omega 369 Rescue Hair Mask. And this was just so good for my hair because my hair is dyed. This is not my natural color. My hair has been dyed for probably over like three, four years now. But this is just a very good product to use for colored hair, damaged hair, split ends. And I would definitely recommend this deep mask. I would recommend their products, period. And this is Naomi, you know, whenever you get your, get your, um, sewage or weaves or your, um, frontals, closures, all that. I love to use Naomi for my edges or for like a, to keep the curls in. If y'all don't know, I think I use Naomi in my Ben Love hair review. So go check that out. And this really kept my curls for my weave really, really good, like, it held my curls pretty good. And y'all already know about the got to be. You got to use your got to be when you got your front sole. Your front sole lifting a little bit. You spray that got to be and it's going to hold it down for real. So yeah, I love got to be. I like that edge control too. I don't use it often because as my edges are really, really thin. If anybody know any growth oil or something that can help me out with that, please leave that in the comments down below. But I don't really like to use got to be on my edges because um, their edge control does get hard and I feel like it just be pulling at my edges. So, yeah. But if you need something to hold your frontals down, wigs, whatever, got to be spray is the spray to get. So now I got my TPH by Taraj P. Hansen. Um, I don't, the shampoo and conditioner is in my bathroom, but, um, I did do a review, a product review on these products, so go check that out. So that is my last video I did. Um, these products is pretty good. This product, it just caused my hair to flake. I don't know if I, my hair was not wet enough or anything, but it did cause my hair to flake, but it don't always do that for everybody hair. So I would definitely recommend trying this if you need a curling gel. I would definitely recommend trying this. It has a lot of hold to it. It does hold your curls very, very well. And yeah, and the shampoo and conditioner is bomb. I love the conditioner. It really defines my hair a lot and it defines my curls a lot and I love it. So I would definitely recommend Taraji P. Henson's line. Mm. Last, um, the 
curl cream of nature cream of nature i used to use cream of nature products all the time i love their products and um their products are very very moisturizing it's very very they're very very moisturizing and good to use on your hair if you need a very moisturizing product and it's so it it's also good for um color treated hair so if you have color treated hair once again go try these products out this is the argan oil in Morocco. morocco morocco um this is the foaming mousse so yeah i would definitely go try that out and yeah so this is just everything else in my bin is just eco styler who don't mess with eco styler if you're not messing with eco styler then what are you doing like that's why it's empty. But that's why I'm cleaning this up. Cleaning all this out. But Eagle Styler is a good it's good to use too. Especially like a lot of people use Eagle Styler for their wash and goes. And I would definitely recommend this one or the Flexi, the Flexi Eagle Styler for a wash and go. That one looks good too. Mm. I got the main choice edge control. This edge control is good, but you know, um, the best edge control I like to use is um I forgot what it's called. Um, the edge control I like to use, I'm gonna insert a picture, you know, on this side or that side, whichever side. But yeah, I'm gonna insert a picture for y'all on that one. Then you got your design essentials, um edge control. This edge control is pretty good as well. It has a good hold to it. You know, you got the Gorilla Glue. I don't use this on my hair anymore, but this edge control is good. I don't use this on my hair because, once again, my edges are really, really thin. And, um, got to be, um, not got to be. This Gorilla, gorilla Glue is a hard edge control, like, got to be. And I just feel like it pulls at my edges a lot. So I don't use this, but if you do need a hard edge control or something, then Gorilla Glue is the glue to go to. But all right, y'all, I think that is all. That's all the products for today. Thanks for coming with me. Thanks for coming along the journey of cleaning out my been thanks for doing that with me and i will see y'all later i will be back this is deja vu and bye